is the energy vibration rhythm for the Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the energy vibration for the month of November. Month of November, November 2000 and uh, November 2018. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful like, shares, and support this month of November has to do with the energy vibration of the hair so it's going to be good for you guys okay it has to do with the energy vibration of the hair now the star is the energy vibration and there is the help with justice which is the liberance that is going to be coming in to balance out certain um, situation if you're not having a legal situation and then we also have the energy of the hermit okay so we are going to be aligning ourselves with the energies and um, this week has this month has five weeks five weeks in this month which is just so beautiful five weeks in this month and it is wonderful please remember that extended reading is on the mount okay so there is an extended reading that is going to be on the mount for you guys so um, this is um, really wonderful let's go in and see what's happening for the month of November for you Gemini so we have the ace of Pentacles that is coming up this is wonderful in the first week the ace of Pentacles so this is um, really really positive because it's saying that your financial stability is going to get better it is as if you're going to be getting something the universe is going to be aligning some things for you justice comes up in the second week this is a positive energy so if you're having a legal situation whatever the situation is um, legal situation or there was some money that was supposed to be paid out to you and it was taking longer to pay it out now money is going to be coming in third week we have the energy of temperance and this is also in the general energy that temperance comes up in the third week now um, whenever temperance comes up it's, it's as if your angels and your guides are protecting you within um, with something a legal situation or a, um, a conflict that is going on then we have the energy of the night the night of Pentacles this this night has been coming up a lot so a lot of you are going to be working with people between the age of 25 and 45 that is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn then the fifth week we have the energy of uh, um, another um, Prince coming out so this is the Prince of Cups the Prince of Cups is coming out so you have the energy of the Prince of Cups that is coming out in the fifth week so um, this month has to do with a lot of people um, situation balancing out uh, um, negative uh, situations in your life which is going to be um, extremely um, positive okay so the first week is an earth week for you guys the second week is an air week which is a very good week for you um, third week is an earth week so there's a lot of balance um, the fourth week is the king of Pentacles which is uh, um, a situation where you are going to be um, vibrating with the energy of uh, um, uh, financial stability and balance and um, the Prince of Cups comes out okay so um, some of you could be dealing with uh, um, your father or brother in the two last week let's see what's happening the first week going in the second week you have the energy of the Queen of Swords so you ladies um, over the age of 40 if you're having a legal situation um, obviously um, um, some um, financial stability or financial abundance is going to be coming your way so you ladies who are in legal situation ladies over the age of 40 or this could be also um, your lawyers that is um, aligning with you okay Let's see what else is coming out we have uh, um, 
this princess that is coming out this is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius in the second week going in the third week okay so um, there could be a justice that is coming against um, someone who is in between the ages of 25 and 45 that is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius there could be some justice that is coming against her then in um, the third week going in the fourth week we have the energy of uh, the five of Pentacles so there is going to be um, an emotional situation where there is a um, situation that is happening with your financial stability in the third week going in the fourth week there's there is going to be some situation that has to do with your financial stability in the third week going in the fourth week of the fourth week going in the fifth week we have the energy of uh, um, the eight of swords you're not seeing a situation it's as if um, it's as if uh, um, if your father is a Taurus or a Capricorn and your brother is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion there is a situation that you're not seeing um, with these two people there is something that is not clear and all you have to do is to ask for clarity so as we look at the second week the second week has the energy of justice so an unbalanced situation is going to be balancing out in the second week there is illegalities and there is justice standing up um, against someone um, who has done something injustice and this person is between the age of 25 and 45 and is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius okay now you have the six of swords you decide to leave this situation behind so some of you could be divorcing if you're married or if you have a relationship with this person this person is a um, is a um, Aquarius um, Aries Leo or a Gemini um, there could be um, an ending to a situation and you're going to leave the situation behind in the third week um, you have the outcomes of uh, um, the um, air event which is an organization now what is happening and what is transpiring is that basically um, you're finding inner peace and balance with the situation inner peace and balance because of a situation that has transpired with someone else in an organization so it could be on the work floor or it could be the insurance company or it could be the hospital whatever organization this is it is as if um, the angels and guides are protecting you in this situation against this person whoever she is she has done something it could be a corporation also whoever she is she has done something um, injustice and justice as a picked up on what she has done okay in the fourth week um, you have uh, the five of Pentacles you're not seeing a situation clearly the five of Pentacles um, so some of you are not seeing your financial uh, situation clearly and the Prince of Wands comes up whoever this Prince of Wands is um, he's coming from out of an organization okay so this Prince of Wands is coming in the four weeks because we have the energy of the five of Pentacles and he's coming in in the four weeks now we need to um, be careful with this Prince of Pen Prince of Wands whoever he is uh, this person is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius so a lot of you Gemini's are going to be working with uh, um, this person who is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius and whatever the situation is it is very important that you find some balance in the situation because obviously whatever is going on this man is there as we look at the second week going in the third week uh, with this um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius um, young lady between the ages of 25 and 45 um, you're leaving a situation it has to do with an organization where she has done something injustice it could be on the work floor um, and she has done something injustice and it's as if this organization is going to be seeing what has transpired and they are going to be giving you a helping hand okay 
they're basically going to be giving you a helping hand because they realize um, what she has done and um, they are going to be um, really standing up and um, doing the right thing for you so this is um, going to be um, very very positive two of cups comes out from this organization and they're going to be giving you an helping and to resolve whatever the situation is so the third week going on in the fourth week uh, some of you are going to be having some financial difficulty or hardship um, and an organization and it has to do with uh, um, the night um, is a man between the age of 25 and 45 and um, some some resolution is going to be coming um, to the situation because it's as if um, the king of swords saw what has happened what has transpired and there is going to be coming a resolution now the king of swords can comes up as uh, someone helping you in um, in a conflict so, or um, um, realizing what has transpired the outcomes is the eight of Pentacles and um, this outcomes of the eight of Pentacles for your month is very wonderful because I'm seeing um, most of you guys coming out uh, most of you air sign people coming out with the energy of the eight of Pentacles most of you hair sign are really coming out with the energy of money that is coming out so um, as we break down um, the month um, we're seeing that in the first week um, the universe is going to be blessing some of you with um, money and it could be a legal suit um, especially for you ladies over the age of 40 there's a situation that is uh, um, that you're going to decide to leave behind you and you're going to find inner peace with this situation some of you are going to be connecting with new um, um, work um, people at work with a new situation um, uh, a situation that is um, is as if you're leaving one job and finding another um, job um, really really fast and this is good so um, as we look at the second week the second week uh, some of you are going to be having a legal situation with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and it is in a corporation or organization where this person has done something of injustice justice is going to be coming in because they realize what this person has done and justice is going to be coming in as we look at the third week um, which is a center because there's five weeks in this month some of you are going to be having some financial um, hardship or you're feeling as if you have been left out in the cold and um, someone is going to be coming in um, or this is the person who has made you become so very in this um, situation and it has to do with uh, um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn between the ages of 25 and 45 so as we look at the fourth week uh, th that hardship is coming out from the third week in the fourth week uh, where um, you're not seeing a situation clearly that has to do with the king of Pentacles whoever this king of Pentacles is he's a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and this person is working with the Prince of Wands and the Prince of Wands is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius so be aware of these people that is coming in because it's as if some of them are working with you or working against you it is really a weird month um, for you Gemini's is really um, a weird month for you Gemini's um, but the outcomes is it has to do with something with business or connection at work or um, in a, a commercial um, space in your life okay so um, there's a lot going on for you Gemini's in this month okay and um, whatever that is going on it has to do the central of the month it has to do with organization corporation uh, groups of people people who you have to deal with now in the fourth week look out for a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn over the age of 45 a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn over the age of 45 because this person um, uh, will come in and help you whether from out this organization or it could be 
um, a situation where um, a, a powerful energy is coming in to help you because they realize uh, what has transpired and uh, they're going to be opening up uh, energies for you or opening up opportunities and doors for you because they realize what has transpired now the fourth and last week uh, the energy of uh, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion between the ages of 25 and 45 is here you're not seeing a situation because this person is working with uh, the Prince of Wands the Prince of Wands uh, is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius and you have to be careful because all these three people are working together and as if the Prince of one and the King of Swords is working in alignment and you're not seeing exactly what is happening but they're working ex in alignment so you need to be aware of this again the outcomes of your month is the eight of Pentacles so um, it is going to be hard work in uh, this month. Some of you are going to be connecting with the right people at the right time and the right situation. So, I want to say to you guys, um, I'm wishing you a wonderful month for the on demand. Please, please, for the on demand, please. Namaste.